Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I'm Congressman Hale Boggs, the co-chairman of the Lady Bird Special. I see a sign over here that says, nothing could be finer than to have you in Carolina. Well, nothing could be finer than to be in South Carolina. We are happy to be here. Now, first, let me, um, let me present to you some of your own leaders uh, who are on the train. Mr. and Mrs. W.H. Brawley. That's you, Bill? <laughs> it's Bill Brawley. He's been running the train. Man, Mrs. R.D. Wilson of Chester. Mrs. Wilbur Grant, co-chairman of the Lady Bird Special. Senator and Mrs. Paul Hemphill, Jr. Mr. and Mrs. David A. Gaston. Representative and Mrs. L.C. Wright, Jr. Mr. H. Mason Dupree, Chairman of the, what county is that? Oney City Democratic Party. Mr. C.A. Mitchell, Vice Chairman of the Democratic Party of Oney City. Mrs. L.W. Pittman of Great Falls. Mrs. J.B. McDowell, Co-Chairman of the, of the train. Mr. and Mrs. S.W. White. Mr. and Mrs. Sam H. Fraser, Jr., County Chairman. And Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy H. Nunnery, the representative elect of this county. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, where's the governor? Where's Governor Sam? Well, Governor there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to be in South Carolina for a whole lot of reasons. What I mean is that you have a great governor. And he's got a lovely wife. Ms. Sanders uh, has been uh, co-chairman uh, of this whole trip. She's done a remarkably good job, and the President and Mrs. Johnson are mighty proud of them. Now, I'd like to present the Governor to say a word or two, if you will, please. I'm very happy to be here and to welcome to my hometown the First Lady of the Land. I'm proud of Chester, and I'm proud of what Chester's going to do on November 3. There's a man who's a Democrat through and through. And he knows, he knows that South Carolina is going to be with Vermont and Maine and New Hampshire and Arizona when the votes are counted on November 3rd. Now let me present the next congressman from this district, uh, Tom Geddes. I knew Tom years ago in Washington when he was with the late uh, representative, not late, but our former representative, Dick Richards, a great representative from this district. Tom, say a word or two. Thank you, Congressman Boggs. It's a wonderful experience for Mary Phillips and me to be aboard this Lady Bird special train. The reception in Rock Hill was wonderful, just as it is in Chester. I welcome Lady Bird and all her wonderful distinguished guests to the 5th Congressional District of South Carolina and we will all have a victory on November 3. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Your mayor is going to introduce our, your great uh, loyal Democratic senator, but before he does that, I want Mrs. Johnson to come here. Mrs. Owen Johnson, this is really the Johnson special. <laughs> Ms. Lady Bird Johnson, Ms. Owen Johnson are both on this train. Ms. Johnson, won't you take a bow? I've never been so proud of my state as I am today. God bless you all. May I say to you that this train has been uh, on the tracks now for several days. 
We have covered the great states of Virginia and North Carolina, and you know this is an enthusiastic crowd here. The same kind of crowds we've had in Virginia, same kind of crowds in North Carolina. Now let me present to you the mayor of your fine city, Reg Wilson. Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, sir. My friends and fellow Democrats, it is a distinct pleasure and a great honor to welcome the Lady Bird Special to Chester, South Carolina. The visit of the First Lady of our great land to our city is an occasion that will long be remembered by all of us. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson, for stopping in our city. And in behalf of all the citizens of Chester and Chester County, welcome to Chester, Mrs. First Lady of our nation. Now it gives me distinct pleasure, and I feel it a great honor, to introduce the senior senator of South Carolina and a true and great Democrat, the Honorable Olin D. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for introducing me. I'm glad to be back in South Carolina, and especially in Chester, South Carolina. You know I love this state, and you've loved me many times. And God bless you, and I know what you're going to do in the future. I can tell the people of this state and nation, you're going to do like the rest of the nation. You're going to vote Democratic on November the 3rd. Now then, it becomes my greatest honor, one of them that I've ever had, to introduce to you the First Lady of the White House, the greatest lady I think we've ever had there, Lady Bird Johnson. Thank you, Senator Johnston. You know, at, the farther we go down the tracks, the, uh, every stop gets more and more exciting. This is a great adventure. I'm happy to be here in Chester, the hometown of the governor of your state, and the hometown of Bill Brawley, who's done so much to get this whistle stop going. I don't. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, I started off on this trip with a mixture of anxiety and anticipation. Anxiety because I'm not used to whistle stopping without my husband and trying to make the speeches. But anticipation because I was heading into a part of the country that is home to me. And during these two wonderful days on this train, I've met so many wonderful people. I'm not like the Chester blacksmith, as so the story goes, who came out to inspect the first locomotive that ever came down these tracks and then announced that he'd seen everything and was ready to die. Did that really happen? <laughs> That's the story they tell on Chester. Well, I've seen a lot, but I want to go on seeing more, especially I've enjoyed seeing the progressive New South. I have a lot of memories that I know you share of the South I knew in my childhood. I'm fond of the old Southern customs of keeping up with your kinfolks, all your uncles and your aunts and your cousins, of long Sunday dinners after church, and of a summer times filled with watermelon cuttings and swimming in the creek and visiting for weeks. I hope that South never disappears but I hope that Chester will, while remaining a stronghold of that type of the South, go on into the progressive New Year's ahead. You know, I think that what every mother and father out there want for their children is freedom from the problems of poverty which cripple in body and spirit 
opportunity for education and a promise of national stability and world peace. And that's what you have on your minds when you're looking for a man to vote for for president. I just want to say about the man that I know best, that I have watched him serve the people of this country for the last quarter of a century in the House of Representatives, in the Senate with your own Olin Johnston, and then three years in the Vice Presidency, and then these last 10 demanding, arduous months as your president. I believe that it can be said of him that he has brought stability and progress to this country and kept his eyes always looking upward toward things that can bring to America a greater future. I thank you for welcoming us here. It'll be one of the happy memories of these great days traveling through the South. I want you to know, because I see so many young folks out there, I want you to know our daughter, Linda Bird Johnson. I want to particularly thank all the young people for coming because I feel that you are part of my constituency and I am part of yours. Thank you very much. This has been a wonderful day. The sun has shined on us. We've seen people all over the state, all through the South, and we certainly do appreciate you coming out. And I particularly want to thank the band because I heard they had to come a long way, and we certainly do appreciate them coming. Thank you all very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have to get on the road, but aren't you proud of them? Give them a big hand.